Priti Patel delivered a ferocious critique of Britain's aid budget in a throwback column. Last week, Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced he is to scrap the Department for International Development to feed, as he no longer wants Britain's aid spending to be some giant cash point in the sky. Mr Johnson decided to merge the defeat with the Foreign Office and hand control of aid to Dominic Robb, the Foreign Secretary, after losing patience with the way the department was allocating taxpayers' cash. The Prime Minister is expected to rip up rules governing aid spending, which are set by the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, when a government review reports back in the autumn. Instead of sending money to countries such as China and India, both of which are wealthy enough to have their own space programs, the money will be used to maximize British influence on the world stage. The decision was immediately attacked by three former prime ministers, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown and David Cameron, who said it was a grave mistake. On the other hand, the move was hailed by many Tory MPs, who have for years been calling for a fundamental review of the way aid money was spent. One of them is Home Secretary Priti Patel, who had already called for the defeat to be abolished four years ago. In 2016, Ms. Patel, who at the time was International Development Secretary, insisted in a column for the Daily Mail that despite the efforts of her predecessors to get better value for money, urgent improvements were needed. Ms. Patel wrote, We need to face facts. Too much aid doesn't find its way through to those who really need it. And too often, money is spent without a proper focus on results and outcomes that allow the poorest to stand on their own two feet. It rightly infuriates taxpayers when money that is intended for the world's poorest people is stolen or wasted on inappropriate projects. I am infuriated. My predecessors worked hard to make sure that British aid ended up where it should. But we can improve. I want to use our aid budget to directly address the great global challenges that affect the UK, like creating jobs in poorer countries so as to reduce the pressure for mass migration to Europe. Ms Patel, who had spent the previous two months scrutinising every aspect of the development programme, also delivered a withering rebuke to the multi-billion pound aid industry.